always believe where two or three are gathered in the name of the Lord he's always present so I'm just gonna wait for two or three once we have that quorum the Bible quorum that allows or that lets Jesus to be amongst people then we will start because we have enough quorum for a church two or three I believe that's a quorum of the Bible so do we have two or three people I'm just gonna wait a little while and then we are going to go for it yes and maybe in the meantime I'm, I just want to you know bring a word of God bring the word of God here today for us and I'll be reading from the book of Luke chapter 18 and I think yeah we're going to go from chapter uh, the verse number one to maybe eight uh, let me just be reading this because it's going to be there even after the live and this is the title that my Bible has given it the parable of the persistent widow the parable of the persistent widow and he spoke a parable unto them to this end that man ought always to pray and not to faint saying there was in a city a judge who feared not God neither regarded man and there was a widow in that city and she came unto him saying avenge me my adversary and he would not for a while but afterwards he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge her, lest her continual comings, lest by her continual comings, or coming, she wearies me. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge said. Shall not God avenge his own elect, who cry day and night unto him, though he bears long with them. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith on the earth? That is a blessed word of God. I just read from Luke chapter 18 from verse 1 to verse 8. You can go read it for yourself. But I'm going to expound it a little bit and shortly. Jesus said that a city judge and this judge we can imagine the judge of those days they were rulers and rulers were expected not just to judge but to lead the people and make judgments so they had that much power they were more sort of the rulers of the time you can think of them like a king and this guy the Lord talked about was was an insolent guy he did not care about man he, he was a selfish narcissistic guy who never cared about man leave alone man he the Bible says he never regarded man he said it says he never feared God so we, we here we're looking at a guy that the type of guy you can think of a figure you know in history that doesn't care about God and doesn't care about man so he's just one insolent proud ruler and here comes a very weak person in the society a widow and this widow is going to the king to the judge she 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 picks her courage and says i am going to go to this unjust evil wicked judge because if i don't nothing is going to happen i'm just going to remain and this widow had one request she wanted some vengeance it appears she has some adversary or an enemy who, who who had wronged her robbed her the wrong way for whatever reason we have not been told what that was but we just know that she needed some vengeance and she goes to this judge and tells judge please avenge me my adversary has done me something wrong we do not know you can guess what she she she, she was going she was a wi widow so that means the husband had either died or divorced her and probably they took her property this is just my guess I'm trying to, to, to invoke some thoughts here they took her property they, they left her poor maybe with her kids and she, she, she someone you know unjustly took her house or something 
uh, could be the family of the husband, or, or it could be the husband who di divorced her. It could be anything, but she needed some vengeance. But this king was like, I don't care about this widow. Where does she come from? Like, just let her let her go. Maybe he could, this judge would to tell the soldiers, send her away, she's just disturbing me. But the woman would consistently come back to the judge, day in, day out. And then this evil, wicked judge, Hear what he said in the Bible. Lest by her continual coming she wearies me. This woman is troubling me, wearying me every day, crying outside my court or my my whatever. She was crying and asking day in and day out and begging day in day out. He got tired. Like she's troubling me. Let me do. Let me give her her request. And she, this unjust judge did exactly that. And Jesus said, this is just a one wicked and just judge. What about you guys? God the Father is not like this judge. He loves you. He cares. He's concerned about our lives. What is he going to do for people who cry day and night to him? Seeking this, seeking that, seeking vengeance. If, if you're looking for vengeance, some justice somewhere, you're looking for money, you're looking for a job, you're looking for a wife, you're looking for a husband, you're looking for the fruit of the womb, you're whatever you're, you're, you're needing from the Father and crying day and night. Jesus is asking, don't you think God is going to do it? God is going to answer you. Not only answer it speedily, the Lord says. Jesus said, he's going to avenge us speedily. And what's the title of my message? Man ought always to pray. Always, always. Man ought always to pray. And Jesus says here, persist, be persistent. Persevere in prayer. Disturb God. Trouble Him. Cry day and night to your heavenly Father. Because not doing anything is not going to change your situation. Like this woman, this widow, if she just stayed home, the judge would not have solved her problem. And when it appeared for a while, it wasn't happening. She never gave up. Like, I've been praying for a year, two years. My husband hasn't come. This healing, this, this cancer is still there. This disease is still there. I'm going to give up and try something else. I'm not going to talk to God. No, this widow can continue to press on Jesus is asking press on in prayer and how day and night crying so I, I just came here to tell people what have you given up on what have you just maybe you gotten used to it you, maybe you had some pain you have some pain in your body you said I have prayed enough I'm just gonna get used to this pain I, I'm single and I'm 37 I prayed and asked God for a husband uh, it's not happening, so let me just get used to being single. Why are you getting used to darkness? Christians are not here to get used to the darkness. We are here to come out of darkness. Our faith does not allow us to just get used to situation. Let me just get used to this. Yeah, you know, I prayed God to help me stop smoking. I, I can't. The urge is too much. Let me just get used to living with it. That attitude is not the attitude that the Lord is asking us to, to, to have and to clothe ourselves in. This is the attitude. The attitude is men ought always to pray and persist day and night. So I am here to ask people, labor in prayer day and night, all types of prayer, crying prayers, silent prayers, hard prayers, um, fasting prayers, every type of prayer, loud prayers, noisy prayer, quiet prayer, uh, um, individual prayer, corporate prayer, pray by yourself. If that's not enough, find a partner to increase the strength. Two Christians are better than one. If it's not working fast from food and things for a couple of days a day, two, three, five, six, seven, as the Lord en enables you, all types of prayers every time and change change but keep disturbing and troubling God the Father because he likes the trouble God doesn't get wearied as this unjust judge but God understand you can make things happen even before their time and this reminds me of, of, of Mary 
the mother of Jesus. He made the Lord do a miracle before his time. Why? She just persisted. They have no wine. The Lord did not want to do a miracle. We know that because he said this miracle is, is it shouldn't do. This is not the time. But because the mother insisted, he caused God to do something even before his time. This is the power of prayer and insistence. Guys, what have you given up on? What have you gotten used to? Have you gotten used to defeat just because you're a Christian, you haven't given up your faith, but kind of like you got used to it, got used to darkness and gave up on prayer, and now you don't even pray about it anymore. I'm back to remind you, we are to obey the Lord. Every word of the Lord, he said. Now listen to this word and obey it. Man ought always to pray. Pray all the time. I encourage you, go back to prayer. Call unto the Lord day and night. Cry unto the Lord day and night. He will avenge you speedily. He will answer you speedily. And you shall reap what you sowed in the Spirit. You sow prayers. You reap what? Answers. Thank you. God bless you as you insist and persist in prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen.